City friends, how's everybody holding up? I hope that you're able to do everything that is within your power to stay safe. Welcome to Black Ribbon Studio. My name is Denise, and I want to thank my viewers and subscribers for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. Today, we're going to chat about whips. Now, last week, I uh, informed you guys that I was making a few changes to this channel. And um, in case you're new here, uh, what that entails is um, I'm going to be sharing uh, crochet on one video and cross stitch on another video. Now, how this all came about is... Um, when I started my channel a year ago, uh, I simply named it Black Ribbon Studio. And because I, I had every intention of introducing various uh, fiber arts as we went along, um, you know, based on the things that I have a, an, an interest in. And so I did go ahead and introduce uh, Cross Stitch to the channel. And I do believe that now is a good time for me to separate those out and do separate crochet videos and cross stitch videos all on this channel. So if you've noticed, I have made a name change back to the original name, Black Ribbon Studio. It's no longer Black Ribbon Crochet Studio. It's just Black Ribbon Studio. Um, so, um, this is a crochet podcast and you'll be able to tell every time that I upload because if it's a crochet, if it's about crochet, I will be titling it crochet podcast. And if it's about cross stitch, I will be titling it floss tube. So let's go ahead and get into it now. You also may know, if you've been with me for a while, that my focus, especially during this time of um, isolation, uh, my focus has been on finishes because finishing things has, um, it is giving me a, a, a sense of maybe stability or what have you. So, um, I, but I don't have any finishes this week. I do have a couple of whips, and um, the first one I'm going to share with you is the six-day kid blanket that I showed you last time, and I've made a lot of progress, guys. I did so much crocheting this week, and so here it is. Here's what it looks like now, and this is about uh, two and a half cakes of yarn. And the yarn that I'm using is the Premier Sweet Roll. Let's see if I can get it to show up on... There you go. Premier Sweet Roll. And the colorway, I always um, get stuck right here. What is it? Melon Pop? Melon Berry? Hold on. Glasses! Okay. Ah, uh, melon something. Melon pop. So, there you go. Beautiful colors, beautiful yarn. And um, I did want to point out that this is a five ounce cake. And each cake has uh, 245 yards. Now, my original plan was to use about six cakes of this for this blanket and you know it's a baby blanket so you know i was going to use six cakes it it does it is kind of a yarn eater um as you can tell uh but my issue that i'm having now is the width of the blanket i measured it and it's 29 inches wide which is a little more uh, more narrow than I usually like to make my blankets for babies. So I did do some uh, research and I found that 
uh, 29 inches is generally uh, the size for a stroller blanket, something you would just throw over a baby in a stroller. So I have to go back to that to find out um, how long it should be because I'm not sure that I'm going to absolutely need six cakes. I don't want to make a long narrow blanket that's that's not what i have in mind i need to uh make sure that you know the dimensions are good but i love this look at look at these stitches i mean it is just so pretty and so when you make this blanket you want to keep the width of the blanket in mind because with a ripple blanket it's kind of hard to tell when you do the starting chain. It's kind of hard to tell how wide it's going to be. So I want you to keep that in mind when you make this blanket. And also, I want to tell you that this yarn that I am using is perfection. Okay? Um, I understand that uh, Premiere has come out with another kind of sweet roll i i think it's like sweet roll frosty um but i definitely have these sweet rolls on my radar to purchase more i do have some more in my stash but this is a yarn that i definitely will buy again it just glides off of my hook so keep those things in mind, guys, for when you make your six-day kit blanket. Now, this is a free pattern on Ravelry by Betty McNitt. Okay. The next thing that I worked on this week um, for a little while was the askew shawl that I showed you guys. And I was able to get another full skein of yarn into this. And this is the one of the few times that I remembered to leave my progress marker <laughs> attached. And so here's where it was last time. Okay, and then I added another full skein of yarn. And here it is. Is it, is this the, this is just beautiful. I'm telling you guys, I have, let's see how much more. I think I have two more skeins of the yarn, and it is the Patton's Denim. I believe this yarn has been discontinued, but I'm not sure. Um, so I have two more skeins of this, and I'm definitely adding both skeins uh, to this shawl. I absolutely, I'm in love. I'm in love. So, I will definitely be making another six-day kid blanket without a doubt. And I am definitely going to be making another askew shawl. This thing is just gorgeous. Now, I did want to tell you, though, that because of um, my uh, confusion when I started making this shawl, I thought about uh, keeping some notes. And so I started keeping notes on these little index cards, just like Pamela at Pamela's Crochet at Knit Corner. Thank you, Pamela, for that suggestion. And so this is working out for me really, really well. I have the needle size, which uh, the needle size, no, no needles. The hook size, um, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook. I have that right here on my card. So when I go and pull it out, I know what size I'm working with and I'm able to keep up with my row count. And so these little index cards are working out really, really well for me. And I, I will link Pam's um, YouTube channel below. 
Now, um, at, for acquisitions this week, let me tell you, I have uh, received several orders. Um, I'm really pleased with that. With that, they're all cross stitch related, so I'll be able to share those with you guys on my next floss tube. But I want to say how proud I am of all of us for stocking up on our supplies and really uh, giving uh, business to small businesses. I am really proud. Uh, places are absolutely out of stock on certain things, which is, is, is really a good thing. We are doing our part to help the economy, so I'm proud of you guys. So let me know in the comment below, what have you been buying? What, what kind of supplies have you been buying? Have they been getting to you in a timely manner? And uh, have you been spending more or less during this period of time. I think I personally have been spending just about the same amount, but I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to see um, how vigorously you're stocking up on your supplies. Now, I wanna give a, a shout out to um, someone that I've been uh, watching this week on YouTube, and that's Kim. Of Kim's crochet and knits everybody give Kim a round of applause I'm so happy and proud of her she recently finished her first knit sweater she is so proud of herself and I am so proud of you too Kim way to go now um, I want to uh, go ahead and talk about the giveaway that I have going on right now and I want to thank you for your comments on the last video. And if you notice, I just hearted all the comments. I didn't respond to anything because um, I don't want to mess up the little algorithm that's going on with the YouTube ra random comment picker. So, you know, after the, the giveaway is over, I will go back and respond to your comments. But I wanted to thank you for that. And so... Listen, listen guys, okay. I'm sure you've seen these, um, the initials. I see why am I? Okay. I've been seeing this on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Can I tell you that I was last month years old when I finally figured out what that meant I actually had to look it up I actually had to look it up um I, 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 you guys you young guys I'm sure are probably laughing at me at this moment I'm kind of laughing at myself because I just I just couldn't figure it out so anyway in case you missed it <laughs> I feel so proud that I know what that means now. I feel so young. <laughs> but in case you missed it, um, I did my uh, giveaway uh, to celebrate my 1,000 subscribers and my one-year anniversary on YouTube. I did that video last week. If you have not yet entered the giveaway, I urge you to go give that video a look and comment accordingly um, and I wanted just to remind you that uh, due to COVID-19 but my general feeling overall is that I am committed to supporting small business so for the giveaway I will be ordering from Etsy and I've reached out to Molly of Molly Klein Design she uh, hand dyes beautiful yarn. She makes beautiful project bags. And so I will leave a link to her shop down in the description box below. I urge you to go and visit her shop. Give it, you know, favorite her shop for her. Take a look around, see what it is you may want in case you are the winner. Now I must say, 
that there will be um, a dollar limit on this because most of her um, hand dyed yarn is $23, okay? Um, and she's got a few, uh, well, the last time I looked, she had a few project bags that were in that price range as well. Okay, guys, so as usual, I ran out of storage space on my phone, so uh, we'll just go ahead and continue from here. And um, I was talking about Molly from Molly Klein Design on Etsy, which is where your uh, prize will be coming from. I urge you to go and take a look at her shop. Um, and I will be announcing the winner on May 1st, which is next Friday, I do believe. Um, you must be 18 years old or older in order to enter so that you're able to give me your mailing address. Um, and um, go ahead and leave a comment on that video. Uh, guys, don't forget to set your subscriptions to public. Um, any giveaway that I do, I need to be able to see that you are subscribed to my channel. And if you have your subscription set to private, I can't see that and then you can't win, okay? Now, don't forget to come on over and visit us on Facebook at Black Ribbon Crochet Studio because I haven't changed that name yet. Not sure that I will. And um, are you ready for the words of inspiration for this week? You sure? You're ready? I want you to take these words with you this week. Wake up. Kick ass. Be kind. Repeat. Now go ahead and hit the like button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself today. Thank you for sharing my videos. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. Have a good weekend and a good week, guys. Now more than ever, remember love.